Hi, we are on the WordPress Holder channel, the first YouTube channel where you can ask your WordPress questions and get your support video for free. So, feel free to ask your questions in comments. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. So, in this video I will show you how we can add the size chart tab in the WooCommerce and WordPress right here. So this is my client's website and recently in previous video we added these sizes variations like 0, 2, etc. And uh, now my client wants to add here some size charts where will be explanation for these numbers. How we can do it? So there is a one great free plugin. Here it is. Product size charts plugin for WooCommerce. Let's find it and install. Go to the WordPress dashboard, let's wait, click plugins and click add new. Great. Now click search plugins and type product size charts plugin for WooCommerce and install it. Cool. Now activate. Let's check the table which my client wants. Okay. She wants to create something similar, but only for 0, 2, 4, and 6. Okay, skip. Just quick skip here. Cool. So let's see how it works. Here this is the new nav menu item for this plugin. Cool, this is templates. We can create some new. Click add new. And type the title, sizing guide in my case. Sizing guide label the same chat categories this is where this tab will show in which categories obviously you don't want the sizes for t-shirts it will be make visible for some other category okay let's choose my t-shirts Christmas t-shirts chat position additional tab chat style default and here we can create our table just click plus it will create columns and it will add rows so I need two rows and one two three four columns let's add our numbers Cool. Let's click publish and see how it works. It's published. Let's check. Okay. You see, we have new tab with this data. Unfortunately, it creates some issues, so let's fix it. Oh, also here you can choose this chart table, table style. Let's make it maybe classic. And here we can create chart position, additional tab or model pop-up. Let's choose model pop-up, it's better for my client. Here it is, size chart, you see? To be true, this button doesn't work and doesn't really look good, so let's make it as additional tab back. Also, let's check the settings tab, maybe there is something in interesting. This is just covers, subtitle, we don't need subtitle. 
uh, I mean this subtitle we do not need it if you need just change it in pro version you can change colors I do not need as I know CSS very well okay let's check other settings chat image additional okay there are nothing to do so let's refresh the page size charts and let's check why it creates issue oh we need to add a title size and half chest so let's do it just like this size half chest let's check okay looks much better but still we have issue let's check why we have this issue i will do it with cfs so here we have some float let's check yeah this is because float left so let's go to the custom css click theme options and let's uh, customize this uh, table yeah let's wait for a while cool scroll down and click additional css sorry so size charts and let's add our class and click float no uh, now i want to get rid of uh, this uh, black background here is our class background ff color black uh, i also want to remove the bolt font weight 400 uh, great looks much better and there is still a subtitle so let's remove it too and this is our options quick settings we removed it but i think i didn't save yeah click save here and now we should save our css resave let's check how it works on the Wii website cool much better anyway it still shows the subtitle so maybe it's in the size chart settings let's check as you can see even with ready to use plugins you need to know some developer technologies uh, to make some customization as uh, poor plugins uh, don't, doesn't give you what you want in 100 percent cases i mean <laughs> So we can't remove uh, this subtitle, as you can see. Uh, so let's get rid of it with CSS. Chat content. Span B. Display none. And I wrote span just like this. just like this okay let's check so i think it's pretty good anyway looks good for me size and guy guide yeah looks pretty good for me let's go to the settings again to check maybe we can change something Sizing. Maybe we can change the size chart to the sizing guide.
you see, we even uh, don't need the pro version to do all this customization, as I know CSS. Yeah, cool. So unfortunately, it doesn't work, but let's check other products to make sure it is visible only on t-shirts. Like something sex, sex. <laughs> yeah. My English needs to improvements. Anyway, I'm working on it. Yeah, it's not there and exists only on the t-shirts. Let's check other products. Like this, this, and this, just randomly. Okay, it works for it, for this too, and for this. What about responsive? Pretty good. I can't tell it looks bad. As... Pretty good. What do you think? So, I hope this video really helps you to create uh, something similar. And uh, if you want to have more customization, of course, you need to buy Pro version. As uh, I didn't find any other plugin which allows to do all this customization without Pro version. As I know CSS, so it's pretty easy for me. But for you, it might be a bit difficult. Anyway, if you can contact me with comments, I am happy to do some customizations on your website for free and create a YouTube video how I'm doing it for you. So feel free to leave comments and uh, don't forget to like this video, subscribe and uh, have a good day. Bye.